Hello again here from Motor Radical and the team. Today I'm going to show you how to fit our Motor Radical crash bars onto the 1300GS. Um, the tools you're going to require is a ratchet, a 6mm H6 Allen key, uh, Allen, Allen cap, uh, Allen socket, and a T40 uh, socket. You'll receive your crash bars in a box like this. Uh, unbox it. There's a left hand and a right hand crash bar, obviously. This will fit this side. This one will fit the opposite side. Just move the box out of the way. Okay. We've wrapped it in the cellophane. So let's try and get that off. <laughs> There's spaces with a bolt, Allen cap bolt, and we've included a little O-ring there to keep it all, keep the assembly in place, just to make it easier for you to fit to fit the crash bars. So we remove all the wrapping. Once you, once you have all the wrapping off, okay. So while you're taking the wrapping off, just be careful. There is a little file of Loctite attached here. Just don't lose it, um, and make sure you definitely use use this when you're fitting the the um, the crash bars. Okay. So first things first, get some Loctite onto the, onto the threads. Just a little bit like a drop or two. One, there's two, there's three. Okay. This crash bar will fit like this. So again, Just enter the bolts and make sure they go in straight. You're not cross-threading them. There's one. Down here. Okay. This one is just the cover here. You might find it interferes a little bit. Just move it so you can enter the bolt nicely. Okay, so that's in. Take your ratchet. You will notice that I'm not fastening them all, well, one at a time. I'm doing them little by little, understanding that this thing needs to pull itself in and line everything up once it's, once it's tightened. Okay, so that's getting close there. One's there. Okay. 
Okay, close tight. And over tighten them. It is an aluminium casting the engine, so if you do over tighten, you can strip them. Okay, that's how easy it is to fit the crash bars. Okay, so doing the right hand crash bars very similar. Just take the wrapping off. Again, just beware, there is a little vial of Loctite Yeah, Put that one side for now. Let's get this off. The only difference on the right hand side crash bars versus the left hand is you don't have to remove that bolt down here. Um, there's no bolt in there, so these can just go straight on uh, once we've put the, the Loctite on. Let's get rid of that. There we go. These are made of 304 stainless steel, uh, laser welded together, and then sandblast finish on them. Gives you this nice satin finish on the stainless. Okay, I'll take my Loctite. I'll put it on the, thread, on the threads. Drop on each. That comes out. There we go. One. Two. Three. That one side. Okay, this is the bottom, bottom side. So this one goes, goes down there. Okay, I usually try and do my top one first, just to hold it in place. Get that entered. That's gone there. That one goes there. Use this just to get it in. Okay, make sure you don't cross thread. Okay. Not all the way. Okay, pull them tight now. That one. That one. And the last one. Tighten. Not to over tighten. Okay, and that's your right hand crash bar fitted. Thank you.